Hello, welcome back to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today we're gonna to look at a simple corsage, but this is a corsage that's featuring these beautiful hyacinths. So I couldn't help but notice that we had these hyacinths in stock, and uh, I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. The color combination together, and this is a flower that I remember when I first started out in floristry. And what you can do is you can break off these little flowers into little pips. So a pip is literally a single flower from a hyacinth. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use a few little pips, a little bit of ivy leaves, I've got some little crystal details, uh, and I've got a little piece of ribbon, and we're just going to make a simple corsage. So let's get started. So I've prepped some of my materials, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So with our pip that I just pulled off, what you can see is we've got our little trumpet-shaped flower, and on it we've got a little stem. So I'm just going to take a wire, and this is a rose wire, go through and just do a couple of turns so that we're just catching that. So that is giving us all the security we need for our flower. So I'm just going to do a couple more of these. Now, what I found was with the white ones is we've got a lovely stem, which is great because that's really what we want. But with the, the blue, the Delft blue, some of them didn't really have much of a stem, so that's a little bit of a problem. And what you can do, ironically this one has got a little bit of a stem, is we can put a wire through one way, and then we can actually take another wire and go 90 degrees to the side of that, and go that way. So we've got ourselves four wires, but this is going to stop, if we don't have much of a stem here, it's going to stop the flower basically tilting or, or going out of line. And that's very secure. So for wiring our leaves, on that back of that leaf, we've got a vein. And I'm just gonna go two thirds of the way up and put a little stitch through with the same wire. Holding it on my left hand, just come down and make a loop. So now again, with my left hand, I'm just supporting that with my two fingers, and then we can just go around a couple of times just to catch again. So really simple, but what this wire is doing is it's giving the leaf support, and it's allowing us to manipulate it at a later stage if we want. So just make a loop and catch that tail. So to bind these off, we're gonna use basically a, a florist tape and uh, you might have heard like gutta parker um, or flower tape really but this is tape that is specifically for corsages and what I'm doing this one's a plastic one and as you pull it you can make it thinner and the warmth of your hand helps as well but I'm twisting with my left hand and I'm supporting the tape with my right hand so I'm just kind of putting that round and catching on itself now it's caught on itself, I can do the twist and really feed in the tape with my right hand. So with the little stem, that's great. Now that's not a problem at that weight. There's different tapes you can get. You can get a paper one or you can get the plastic one. It doesn't really matter. It's whichever one you like, whichever one you're used to. I would say the benefit of the plastic one is that you don't end up with sticky hands, uh, which is good. Now with our uh, one that didn't have much of a stem, we can actually take our tape slightly onto the, the calyx of this flower, and that's okay as well. So whereas we've got the wire taped here, this one we're up onto the flower, which is giving it much more support in some ways, but we don't really want to see that. So we've got some leaves, we've got our two different flowers, and we've got our little details that we want to remember to pop in. So these are little crystals that are on a stem and they're like three on a branch. So this is something you could put in just to make it more special, or you could leave them out if you're not really crystally orientated. It's up to you what detail you want to add, but what we're gonna look at here is really the base corsage and how this uh, is put together. So what I'm looking for is a leaf just to be a nice top leaf and this one's looking really quite good. What I'm going to do is add another wire to it and I don't need to go through the leaf for this. I'm really adding this wire to give this leaf more strength because this is really going to be the spine that goes down the back. And then for our 
next leaf, I'm putting a little turn on it and I'm just bringing it into one side. And I'm going to look for another one here and do the same, but in the opposite way, so I can create like a little, a little set of leaves. Now with that plastic wire, just pushing them together, it's slightly holding them together, but we want to secure that with another bit of tape. So really when we're building this up, we're creating like you would find on a leaf that's got branches coming off it. And they can be in sets or they can be whatever, but there's going to be a main stem with the flowers coming off. So now we can start adding our flowers and um, we're going to put one up so that I really want the tip of this leaf to be the thing that goes to the very end. But that's giving support to this flower. And then I can come in with my next flower. I'm not really wanting to do a lot of twisting on the stems. If we keep them more parallel, it's a lot neater. And we can bring in our little blue one here. So yeah, I first got into floristry when I had a Saturday job in a shop and I was left in the shop on my own and um, I was a bit bored and in the back was a book that showed you how to make some basic floristry and uh, one of the things was corsage work and it used hyacinth pips to create a corsage uh, and I thought well I've got hyacinth and I've got the time we'll give it a go and see what happens and uh, it worked and it looked really good I think well, it did to me anyway. But what was interesting was that it's, it's enjoyable working with your hands and doing something creative. So this can be quite an interesting thing to have a go at and to have a play. So this is very much like sugar craft, like you might do for making flowers for a cake. Uh, you could make this for going on a cake. We could make this for going on a comb for in your hair, or this could even go onto a handbag or a wrist. The only thing I would say is the, the hyacinth pips are a type of flower that's quite fleshy. So the danger is if they get a lot of knocking or a lot of squashing, that they become a bit mushy and a bit sticky. So I'd be more inclined to use them for somewhere that they're not gonna get damaged. So as a hair piece or as a corsage that goes onto an outfit, uh, then it's much more safe, actually, I think. So we're just building this up. Now, I'm wanting to space these out so that we get nice choice of colour. And as we're going, I'm just taping them in just to help secure. So from behind, we can see that it's branching like this. Now, I've got to this point here, and I want to put in another couple of leaves. So again, we just pop them in, so one to each side. Not necessarily directly opposite each other, that could look a little bit unnatural. Slightly off centre is good. And I'm gonna add in our final crystal. So you might not like crystals. Uh, I quite like them. I think it just gives a wee highlight. I think this is slightly vintage looking in the sense that you don't tend to see corsages or things made with hyacinth pips anymore. Uh, I don't know why, but actually it's so kind of classic that you can't go wrong. So what I'm looking for now is I've got our flowers. I want a nice one for really the center. So we want to just have that one there. And we want to do a thing, so I'm just using my nail actually just to put a wee twist in that wire and then I can sit that in. So that's quite a good way of doing it. We can pop that one in there. Now you could make this as long as you want. Um, I think this is a nice size for a corsage. I wouldn't go any bigger than this. Um, and the one thing that you're not getting watching the video is the smell, because the smell is absolutely heavenly. Uh, it's really, really nice. So again, I'm adding a leaf. So I know we're putting in a few things here without taping, but that's okay. They're all basically in the same place. So we can just tape in a one and catch all five of those things that we've just put in. So we've got 
really these bottom two flowers are kind of facing this way. So this is what we would call a return, which just gives it like a natural end rather than it just, everything's facing one way and then it seems to stop. Now, another thing we can do is we can add a little bit of ribbon. Now we could have put some ribbon in further up as well, but I've got this ribbon and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a kind of lace and it's a little bit wider than I would have liked, but we'll put it in anyway. So I've just made a simple, simple bow. We're using a wire just to go to the middle there. We can bring that to the back and give it a twist. So we're just creating a simple ribbon detail. And that, I can literally fit that up. Now, just to show you. So I really want to fit that up into this point here, but at the front. Now, because these are wired, I can actually push these forward so that we can get in and tape it. Which is good. We're going to... We can... Try. We can actually, we can do different things with the stems is interesting. But if we're going to make it a detail, we need to leave a little bit of length. But just for this bow, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take our leaf and just maybe bring it underneath. Because you've wired the components, you can play around with where they're sitting and how they look. And actually quite nice on a corsage like this is to put a little bit of a bend in it so it has a natural curve and then really just to finish off we can we can do different things with our stems but let's just put a little detail on that's a little bit interesting so it's as simple as that quite a classic corsage and then just to finish off then all we need is a nice pin I would put that in at the back and I'm going to show you the back of that. So what we've got is it's nice and neat. We've basically got branch effect and the same with the flowers at the front. What I've also done is I've added a little bit of curve so that it doesn't look static and it doesn't look triangular. So we've got a very simple classic corsage that would be great for a party or great for a special occasion. So I hope you've enjoyed watching our video today. We basically uh, try and cover a real range of different videos, so I hope you've enjoyed this specific one today. If you want to keep up to date with all our videos though, then click here to subscribe and tap that button so you get the bell and it keeps you really up to date with what we're doing. So thank you for watching and join us again soon.